Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of US Cutter Quick Cuts. In today's video, we're going to show you how to convert and cut any image in Surecuts a Lot Pro 4. Your vinyl cutter can really only understand one type of file format, and that is the .svg file format. It's the software's job to convert and send the data to the machine so that it can start cutting. With Surecuts a Lot Pro 4, you can create vector design images that your machine can cut, as well as convert other image file types into cuttable vectors with ease. You can directly import and cut .svg files, and also load and convert .bmp, .png, .gif, and then also .jpg files using the trace tool in Surecuts a Lot Pro 4. We are going to be using that to do a single color image as well as a multicolor image today. Let's go ahead and start by loading an image in. To load an image in, I'm going to move my mouse to the trace icon located in the static toolbar up above. This will then open the trace image pop-up window, and inside the trace image pop-up window, we have several options. But before I explain any of them, let's go ahead and get an image loaded in first. To do that, I'm going to go inside the input section and then click Choose and Image button located in the top left hand corner of the pop-up. That will then open up the File Select window and then you can select any of the aforementioned image types and then bring them into Shortcuts a Lot Pro 4. This good vibes design has been used in the Caesar Glitter video we did a while back and is a nice and easy design that I can weed. I'm going to be cutting some Green Star Outdoor Adhesive Vinyl if you're wondering but if you're interested in learning more about Caesar Heat Transfer Vinyl, I've made several videos you can check out at any time. Now that I have the image loaded, let's talk about some of the options in the Trace Image pop-up window, starting with the image settings. First up is the mode options. The very first option we have is monochrome. Monochrome will trace the image as a black and white image and gives you the option to use an alpha channel if there's one available, as well as a slide that can adjust the contrast as you like. This mode also changes the preview into a black and white image to show you what areas will be traced. You will need to click the update button to preview any adjustments that have been made. Let me load into another image to show you the other two. Up next is the color layers. This will split the image into however many different colors you specify. Remember that when converting some images, you won't be able to do all the gradients and stuff with vinyl unless you have it printed. When you switch to this, you can adjust the number of layers or colors you want to use when creating the design. You can also remove colors from the image by clicking on them and placing a red strike across the color. Just like with monochrome, you will need to hit the update button to see the changes in the preview. The final option is the single color cut. It also has a contrast option, just like the other two. That is going to pretty much cover the image setting buttons. Now we have the output settings. Inside the output settings box, you have a smooth, detail, and single line threshold options that can be adjusted by changing the values anywhere from 0 as the lowest to 100 as the highest. You can adjust the smooth to a higher value that will give you a smoother trace. When adjusting the detail, putting it to a lower value will remove smaller shapes. Then with the single line threshold, you really only have to use this if you're tracing images that have outlines or shapes that are not filled solid to prevent it from having a double line. Next, let's talk about the check boxes down below. The break apart outlines box, if this is checked when you're completing the tracing process and say you have multiple color layers, it will finish the tracing and then when it brings it back in a sure cut slot, you'll be able to click on each layer individually. So this is really helpful if you're gonna be doing some node editing and stuff. Blackout, this is basically just add or remove the holes or internal outlines or circles on the inside. 
Then finally, we have the add image layer or print and cut. This adds the source image as a layer underneath the traced outline and then sets the traces outline to the print and cut so that it will only be cut and not printed. A quick pro tip though, when you're vectorizing or tracing, be careful if you're bringing over something with smaller text. It's gonna be much better if you can just find a same or similar or even better font to just use and then type the text inside the software for better results. Next, let's move over to the right side of the output section with the preview that we've been talking about so much already. As you can see, right dead smack in the middle of the screen is the preview. Below that is the update preview button that we've been talking about so much. But right above that, we have a few other things that we haven't mentioned. The first thing up top is a little box that you can check if you'd like to see the nodes show up on the preview. I personally don't care for this, so I always leave it unchecked. Then below that, we have a slider that will adjust how well you can see the source image underneath the cutting paths for each color shown. Below that, you have your standard zoom buttons and then a tool for image cropping. Then all the way at the bottom of the pop-up, we have the restore settings button that will restore the settings and everything to the default settings that you saw when you first loaded this pop-up window. The next button is the save as a .svg file, which is pretty handy if you want to save it and not have to worry about ever tracing it again. This will also allow you to move the file to any cutting program or machine as well. Then to the right of that, you have your cancel and OK buttons. But if you're looking to convert images, I highly suggest that you work with a higher resolution image for best results. If it is blurry, pixelated, or just a low quality all around image, you're just going to have some issues when tracing it no matter what. On some multicolor images, you may have to scale back some of the colors in some cases, but don't ever let that limit your creativity. I've opened up a second page so that I can have both images located in the same file. Now, with that, we are ready to send the image to the cutter, so let's start with the multicolored image. With it loaded onto my screen, I want to click the cutter icon in the upper toolbar. This will bring up the cut settings pop-up window, and you might remember this window from the previous Quick Cuts video. Since we've already covered the connection part in that video, let's go ahead and talk about the cut settings box on the general tab. First you have the cut mode. Would you like to start cutting at the origin point that you set on the machine? Or would you prefer it to cut in the exact spot that you put on the cutting mat? I personally always cut on the origin point because in most cases, I will always make the cutting mat the same width as the materials loaded inside of it. Below that is another drop down menu, but this is for your end action. Do you want the machine to return to the origin point, or would you like it to spit the job out a few inches past where you finished cutting it? Then you have your mirror horizontal or mirror vertical checkboxes. You will need these for heat transfer vinyl designs. You can really layer some cool stuff with heat transfer vinyl. I even put it on a football in one of my older videos. Below that, we have the offset presets for blades and pen tools. You can also input custom values, but I strongly suggest you don't mess with those unless you have a specific reason to. I want to cut this image in a few different colors, so I will have to move over to the Cut by Color tab by clicking it on the tab up top. This will bring me to a separate screen that gives me a drop down menu and in that drop down menu, I want to select and have it show cut each color separately, separate jobs. Then below that, you will see each of the colors cut out and ready to go individually. It even places them in the proper order that you need to lay them down in. Select the individual color you want to cut and click the cut button located below. Do this for each color and then put your artwork together. If you are like me, then you will just print things out and then contour cut around it. We're going to be showing you how to do contour cutting in the next Quick Cuts videos, so make sure you like this video and then subscribe so you can see that as soon as it comes out. 
If you are looking to purchase something or have questions about any of the products shown in this video or found at uscutter.com, please contact our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. Every single item that we sell also comes with lifetime customer support for no additional charge. And you can reach our support team at support at uscutter.com. Thank you so much for watching this and have yourself a wonderful day.